Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in oh, the booth oh, with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello. Hello everyone, and you might be a little confused. It's Thursday night, but it is Stand Firm. <laughs> Of course, we had to rearrange our schedule this week. We'll be back to normal, but it is an end of an era. So saying back to normal might be a little bit confusing. That's right, folks. The final JFW live television event before Stan Firm and Claw draft up unique rosters and we continue the JFW into the future with two separate and incredible brands, Monday nights, Friday nights. It's all gonna be a win-win. And we've got tonight to close out the previous era and backlash ahead of us this Sunday Every title's going to be on the line, and those titles are going to mean a whole lot moving forward. And, well, <laughs> now for a sour note here, we're going to talk about titles. I know uh, for a fact that Stan Firm not going to have tag team titles moving into the future. And uh, my picks, my picks, the people who had earned it, I should say, for the uh, first inaugural Stand Firm tag titles that were not to be are the winner 3-5. So I'm giving them a match tonight against the guys that are going up against Dress for Business for the two heads titles on Sunday. It's North and South versus the winner 3-5s. And that's how we're starting off our Thursday night, Friday night Stand Firm. <laughs> It's going to be absolutely glorious, this one, isn't it? Two, uh, two complete idiotic misfits and uh, two football fans. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just well, a joke, yeah, like, on Top I, Gear. <laughs> I, I mean, they're kind of like, they're, they are kind of like a, uh, a British and American uh, bizarro duo of each other here. You know, Ansi <laughs> and Disgotti and Scarrow and J5. <laughs> It's pretty amazing. What what North and South might lack in sexual uh, energy, uh, they make up for in uh, enthusiasm here. Yeah. Oh, dude. But they're looking confident coming in here. You know, they got to be careful. These are um, this is a tough. A tough tag team they're going up against and they've got a bigger match in two days wow they really like to point at each other huh? <laughs> yeah <laughs> <sighs> I love this entrance <laughs> absolutely amazing Of course, you know, surprising former champions. Will they get right back to the top of the pile? Find out on Sunday. But right now, we're going to find out if they can even hang with what should have been the inaugural Friday Stand Firm Two Heads Champions. But it was not meant to be, and I'm not bitter about it at all. Here they are, <laughs> the winner, three fives. No, baby. What a do. You know what? I gotta stand up for this one because this is gonna be a wild match. <laughs> Activating desk mode, standing mode. Ow, fuck, ow, fuck. Oh, it went back down. It went back down and crushed my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good now. <laughs> oh, I was going to be so confident and arrogant about that, and then I fucked myself up. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, dude. Glorious. Yeah, had to work some pyros into the entrance. Not quite as many as Skuro probably deserves for his entrances, but you know, <laughs> we got to make some concessions here and there. Yep. <laughs> That's a lot. 
<laughs> and here we go. J5 and Ansi going to start us off. A little bit of a size mismatch here, but Ansi's used to, you know, to piling around with uh, Descotti, trains with Descotti, so he's no stranger to the big men. <laughs> Sorry, that just really tickled me. Apparently, oh, look at this, though. <laughs> J5 might be bigger, but he's also a little bit quicker. Top rope Johnny outmaneuvering Ansi and dropping him on his neck. Oh, dear. He's no stranger to the big man. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ref having to separate them there. And uh, Descani just getting oh, in no God. offense whatsoever. But a, a no a no count kick out there. <laughs> And here we go. Could uh, could North and South be looking past the winner three fives? I mean, ultimately, especially knowing a brand split coming up in a title match on Sunday, that would, uh, at minimum, if they can win those titles, that would guarantee them a spot on on uh, Monday Claw. Are they just looking past this? This could be kind of a nothing match. They just want to get out of unscathed. Yep. Whereas uh, nothing but vengeance from the Oof. winner three fives and uh, J5 absolutely dominating Ansi here. He really is. Holy moly. Oh, Ooh. nice counter back, though. Ansi, can he get something going here against J5? Sends him right into Descotti no. and tags in the big man. And here we go. Oh, look it out. Look out. Slingshot into a big oh, forearm. And Descotti. Oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Suspended him and he dropped the elbow. Nice springboard maneuver there by Descotti. Devastating. <laughs> oh. Of course, uh, Descotti uh, made a good name for himself in the Skurometso High Intensity Tournament a couple years ago. And here comes the founder of that. Scaramezzo as he's instantly grabbed by those gorilla paws of Descotti and walked over into an unfriendly corner and does absolutely nothing on the tag end to save J5 here. Yep. Oof. Oh, but nice arm breaker and he's right back and right on him. Look at this, power time. Oh my wow. goodness. What a maneuver. Swinging suplex. Couldn't get him up and over, so he went the long way around. <laughs> and that time he gets him up and over. Beautiful German suplex. And now Skrull's fired up. Oh, this could, oh, this is where no. this is where these things always fall apart. Yeah. Oh, another German. <laughs> and Nancy hurt himself <laughs> jumping off the apron. <laughs> Amazing. He really did. <laughs> he literally didn't take any offense whatsoever there. Just jumped off the apron and pulled his groin, I think. <laughs> well, now he's trying to get in on Skuro. Of course, we did see the one big loss that the winner 3-5s did have was in their debut match with that quick count-out victory. And we could be in for some trouble here if they keep going behind those stairs. <laughs> We're already up to a six count. Looks like he's going in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, well, that goes both ways, Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the original, the original shithead, isn't he, Skuro? Oh, what a move. the cannonball! Didn't even need the full run-up for the cannonball there. And that could be a three count, but here comes Ansi. I, nope, never mind. Wow. Just the two count. Scotty able to kick out North and South on the same page there. Ansi knew he didn't have to come in for him, but he's probably going to have to come in for him after this pop-up power bomb. Oh, oh no, oh, he isn't. Oh, rarely see that move countered. Caught the leg and threw Skrull down. And look at this submission. Skrull in all kinds of trouble here. No, <laughs> able to counter out of it, but runs right into a ham hock <laughs> fist and sent into the corner and squished. Boy, howdy. Oh! Oh, no. Package pile driver coming? Yep. Sure looks like it. Oh, no. Skuro, no no, uh, no stranger to those uh, big packages himself. <laughs> but he's taking one there, and he's getting pinned. J5's going to have to save this. He isn't going to. Oh, no, two count again. Both teams so oh, confident in each other. Oh, no. And it looks like the Scotty's going to flop another package onto Skuro <laughs> here. Look out. <laughs> 
And now surely oh we're going to see J5 God. coming in to He's try got and to. save this match. This is done. Yeah, Skuro just got annihilated there. Oof. And yeah, J5 in in the nick of time to save it. Oh, but he takes a <laughs> kick to the dick for his <laughs> trouble. And Skuro not going to be able to tag out anytime soon. And that's going to not be good for him. Look at this, though. Oh, what a counter into a backbreaker. Where did he get the power for that? Oh, he's feeling it now. Boy, howdy. What a comeback by Skuro here. Thought he was dead and buried. But it's not going to do much for him if he cannot get out of the ring. Beautiful Triple H style face buster there. Yeah. And here's a pump handle. Shoulder breaker, beautiful stuff, and he's going for the pin. No way, he's done. <laughs> <laughs> and he just gets the quick pin again. Ancy not running in to Scotty. I think they 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 kind of blew their wad there. Didn't get the win and said, you know what, this isn't worth it. We don't want to go into a protracted match here. Let's just get out of this one and get ourselves ready for our title match on Sunday. Skuro stealing one there with a flurry of offense and resilience that we usually do not see from him. <laughs> wow, that was that was something else, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> North yeah. and South losing a match the way Skuro has lost most of his JFW career <laughs> matches. <laughs> dominating, dominating in the stretch and then just losing to a finisher. Yeah. He didn't even hit his main finisher. <laughs> That is a good point though by Ansi saving energy for backlash. That that is that is for sensible, sure. isn't it? So yeah. Well, he can, and I gotta tell you, you know, J Five. Who knows what? Uh, who who knows what the future is going to hold for everyone once this draft kicks off? But I sure as hell have them high on my draft board to try and get them both in. Um, uh, and keep them on the stand firm roster, but we'll we'll have to see how it plays out next week, and we will have more information about how that draft is going to work as we get closer to it. But folks, next up we've got another backlash qualifying match. Ripper Doc and Just Joe have already qualified for the Plim Plum Pluserweight title match uh, against Store. But honestly, I gotta say I have a little bit less faith than. Uh, some people might uh, on them carrying a pay-per-view match so i'm giving a last ditch effort to muppet pac-man and labred mask in this tag match if they can win they will be added to that match and we will sorry i'm getting distracted mid-sentence and we will uh we will have ourselves a uh a, a, a tlc match and uh, and uh, it should be a wild one, uh, Jim. I need you to take over for a second. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So there you go. Hopefully, hopefully you followed what uh, what Gorilla was trying to put down there. Um, so yes. So currently, there's Store versus Ripper Doc versus Just Joe. Um, and this is to see if the Bread Mask and um. Muppet are added. Well, apparently me thrown off is about the same as you trying your hardest, so let's get to ring. Yes. That's, that's <laughs> Sorry about correct. That. <laughs> that's absolutely correct. Just completely lost my train of thought and was like, if I keep talking, this is going to go in a bad direction. So I better <laughs> stop for a second. <laughs> All right, and there he is, your Friday fuckboy, and he is ready for this Thursday night, Friday night stand for a matchup. Huge opportunity for the original Plim Plom Pluser to get back to his former days of glory and get to Backlash and win that title. Yep. I, I forget uh, I forget if we've already said it, but if, if, if Muppet Pac-Man and LeBred Mask can find a way to win this match tonight and get added in, uh, we're going to make that a TLC match for the Plim Plom Pluser weight title. Will be amazing, yep. Should be amazing, but they gotta get the job done tonight. And you gotta know if Ripper Doc, Ripper Doc and Just Joe, two guys that haven't had a ton of opportunities, you know, Just Joe is a former champion, but Ripper Doc has basically done nothing with his career here. You know, <laughs> this is their biggest moment. If they can win this match, it, it, it really increases their odds of getting that title around their waist. Yep.
What a legend look it is. Absolutely. One of the greatest of all times, especially in the Plim Plom Plus weight division. But he has, uh, you know, he's had a rough go of it. Some uh, Something to do with all his money getting stolen a few weeks ago. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hasn't hasn't really been at the level we expect from him. And this would be a great turning point for him. Yeah, poor old Muffet. And then there's Ripper Doc. There he is. <laughs> He's got blood all over him, and he's a surgeon. Yep, he likes he likes the it is TV show hotel. <laughs> Watches it on Arts Channel a lot with us. <laughs> That's the background for his wrestler. <laughs> Fair enough. And then uh, just Joe, he's more than just an entrance, but it is the best thing about him. <laughs> it sure is. Good. So good. <laughs> It'll never stop being good. <laughs> that is true. Just Joe, a JFW original, a legend in his own uh, right, but uh, you know, I just don't see how you can bet against LeBred Mask on a Friday night, Thursday night, stand firm, and uh, and Muppet Pac-Man to boot. Yeah, two absolute legends. They've got their works cut out for them, I think, Ripper Duck and Just Joe. Sure do. And of course, all all of these men potentially going to be opponents in just a couple days' time. That you've got to keep in the back of your mind. You know, Just Joe isn't going to have a, a whole lot of faith that Ripper Duck is a tag team partner to go out on a limb to try and win this match at his own expense. That's very true. But, they've, they've, you know, it's got to improve their chances not having to compete against Muppet and LeBred Mask as oh, well, yeah. right? So oh, winning, winning is a huge priority right now for both of them. <laughs> Absolute pinnacle. <laughs> oh, dear. The craziest thing was using his using his photo like to make his real face look less like him than that does. <laughs> Here we go, Ripper Doc starting us off. Against Le Bread Mask. <laughs> and here we go, Le Bread Mask, the Friday night fuckboy himself. Look at those breaded ass cheeks. He is ready for this one. And uh, whoa, no countered out by Ripper Doc there. Nice maneuver, but nope. Uh, yep, apparently <laughs> walked right into a suplex. And uh, this is the side of Tom Schniz you don't want to see if you're uh, Muppet Pac-Man and hoping uh, your partner can help carry his own weight because Tom <laughs> Schniz has had an inconsistent run in the JFW. Started so good with that belt uh, around his weight, waist by default. Nice counter there to get to his feet, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's doing, he's doing the fox's elbow. He no, sure no, it's is. Not. no, he's not. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Decided to up the ante there into a standing uh, moonsault. Wow. Thursday night, Friday night, stand firm. Plim plom plusers. Where else would you want to be on a Friday night being held on a Thursday? <laughs> yeah. Here comes Ripper Doc. He seems to have an answer for just about everything. LeBred Mask has thrown at him thus far. Oh, but LeBred Mask using some speed there. And Ripper Doc came up a little bit limping there. Oh, and into the power bomb. Will, uh, will we see a tag into Muppet, or is he just going to go for the win right here and right now? Brings him over into the corner, and here comes Muppet Pac Man. Boy, so, soon enough there we go <laughs> you got a little tired coming through those ropes i guess <laughs> oh no oh boy oh this is unfortunate oh, Muppet, uh, 
<laughs> Muppet's lost Muppet. his damn mind. He's lost his. He's lost all of his money, and he's lost his dad, and he's lost his mind. <laughs> oh my goodness, Muppet Pac-Man. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe a little bit too wound up after everything that's gone wrong for him. Really looking into this one, and might have might have been overthinking it a little bit. But it looks like he's fallen into form here. <laughs> And now we got some good kicks here, and Muppet is right back in this. Oh, Ooh, that was a scary moment early on there. I thought he'd completely lost his mind. Oh, look out! Whoa. Float over power bomb onto 14 feet of concrete. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to split. Oh. No, just Joe able to get out of that. That could have been real bad. And the end, yeah, just go getting this back in the ring. Does not want to be taking that level of high impact damage just before he's got a guaranteed title match, regardless of the stakes of adding two more men to it. Yep. Oh, self rock bottom, the classic. You gotta love a good self rock bottom. <laughs> just Joe trying to roll over Muppet for the pin and Muppet smart enough to keep rolling <laughs> avoiding the pin hello lemon is good uh oh, oh uh oh twist, twist, of, twist fate. of fate and now he's gonna fly oh boy just Joe going top rope Muppet in some serious trouble here Whoa. And he lands it. Muppet squashed there by the Centon. And here's the pin. This could be over if Labred Mask. Now, oh, Labred Mask right there. <laughs> oh, no. And there you go. Just Joe getting a cheap shot in on Ripper Doc. He remembers. He's got to face him in two days. No, no love lost between them either. Glorious. But Muppet's got to get something going here, or he will not have himself a match this Sunday. Yeah. Oof. Oh, no. Look at this. He's got Muppet all tied up on the turnbuckles there, chokes him out. And now, oh, Muppet out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Somehow coming back, are we going to see a snake here? No, we're not. <laughs> Look at the power, wow. though. Just Joe, while he is a plum plum pluser, Muppet is like a micro pluser <laughs> and still able to get that power bomb. And he, even Muppet seems to not be able to believe that he just did that. <laughs> and yeah, he's going over and uh, tagging in, tag, tagging in Labred Mask. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then I just realized how absurd some of these wrestlers look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, look what's, out. what's Joe doing? Uh, I thought he was going for the tag on Ripper Doc and, and Ripper Doc saying no, but that's not the case. He was just making room for him to bait LeBred Mask out of the ring there. And get some extra damage on outside of the ring. The old familiar bait. Uh-oh, look at this. Up to a six count here. Count out's good enough, though, for LeBred Mask. Just got to win the match. But back in the ring we go, and now LeBred Mask looking to try and maybe close this one out. Mm. Hit that Plim Plom Plex. No, oh, the Self Rock Bottom. Is... Oh, into a, into a, a Crust Breaker there, and another <laughs> twist of fate by Joe. Crust Breaker, this could be it. Could be. Oof. No, the last second kick out. But Muppet was not There's able to get there, so we are hanging by a thread here if we're hoping for that awesome TLC match versus the uh, kind of tepid triple threat. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow, look at this from Muppet. But he's taken away. Oh, he won't be able to interfere with a, with a, with a pin. Oh, Muppet. Yeah, Muppet going oh, he comes back in. Back in to break up 
spin. Oh, oh my goodness. Muppet just saved that match, and he's going to pay for it. Oh, my God, he really <laughs> paid for it. Just Joe all over both of these losers. But here comes the oh, bread mask. Oh. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. What a maneuver. Yeah. And now, yeah, the Friday fuckboy fired up. Could we see the Plim Palm Plex? No, we could. Yeah, we sure could, but Ripper Dog right there to be able to break this one up. Yeah, instant. And he does easily, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, uh, all right, Tom Schniz. <laughs> Tom Schniz, uh, yeah, drawing the line in the sand. <laughs> been a pretty uh pretty long match hasn't it it's a bit yeah. of a war here yeah absolutely is but again does this does this do anything other than make you want muppet and labred mask to be added into an epic plim plum loser weight match muppet again saves it there i mean this would be such a good imagine imagine these four in store in a tlc match that would surely be something it sure would It's out, sea subs is just not very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite worth the effort it would take to, to, to port over to it. Oh, but look at this. 619 and oh. Muppet with the stomp. He's got a chance here. We get the pin. Doesn't. Oh, he finally does. He might have given him a free, uh, free two count there, though. Oh, he's done it! Or just win it easily. Wow. He caught everyone off guard by that. Wow. Unbelievable. Muppet Pac-Man getting the pin and the win. And, folks, it is now officially on store. Start counting your days on your Plim Plum Plus Weight run because now you've got to face four men in a TLC match, and it should be exciting. And the only way to see that match is to tune in live on Sunday or, you know, anytime after Sunday on the VOD. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it will be glorious, guys. Uh, store, get fucked. I think, I think we might not be seeing you uh, walking around with that title anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, there's four guys pounding on the door and looking to climb up a ladder and take it from you. Yep. Oh, well, if you don't even want that title, you know, fair enough, fair enough. You know what, Store, just for you, I'm going to add a sixth person to that match. It's going to be a six-person DLC match at Backlash this Sunday, and I'm not even going to sign someone for it. Whoever wants to show up first come, first serve, as long as they're a plim plum pluserweight, they can show up and enter that match. Six-person TLC match for the Plim Plum Pluserway title. Go fuck yourself, Store. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and wow. now, not to fixate on that one any longer, <laughs> folks, it is finally time. You know, the end of the era and an era can only end one way, and that way is with the grand return of Marcel McDaniels. And it is going to be... An incredible one, open challenge by Marcel McDaniels in the middle of the ring, coming up next. Woohoo, can't wait, let's get to ringside. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, this what's is Trend nice. doing? Trend backstage? Oh no, more of this. Are you kidding me now? Trend, Trend uh, having words with Mrs. Wanger here. <laughs> oh my god. And going right after into a bulldog. Oh no, oh my goodness, she's got a weapon. Oh my it god. right on the head of Mrs. Wanger. Oh my goodness, the whole women's division 
And this is a large roster of women, <laughs> specifically led by Mrs. Wanger, Tren, and of course Wendy, have just been going at it week in, week out, interrupting so many matches with these backstage brawls. Good. And folks, yeah, I'm getting word. Marcel McDaniels is already leaving the ring in disgust. He knows what's happening here, and he's having no more of it. We're going to have to worry about Marcel McDaniels at a later date, however. Right now, we got to keep on this developing story backstage oh boy <laughs> absolutely glorious guys <laughs> oh wow. i mean you know you can't say you can't say the jfw hasn't uh been a it hasn't really <laughs> featured the women's division over the years we've built up a huge <laughs> roster of talent i mean look at you know you got two of them right here in mrs wanger and trent and let's not forget wendy all three of those women have made Get their in! presence felt recently along with the hundreds of other um really talented wrestlers on the women's roster <laughs> that we definitely have yeah <laughs> Theresa Mim wouldn't have this. Yep, Theresa Mim, of course, has been in some fights. Mia Khalifa. An extensive, yep. an extensive women's roster. Absolutely, but right now we gotta stick to this. Now I gotta I gotta say, I am a little bit sick of all of these uh all of these interruptions to, to the broadcasting on Friday Stand Firm. But uh you know, again, the women's division is so good, like how can you not you know, feature it when uh, when these fights boil over into the backstage. Yeah. Oh, wow. I agree, Kelsey. I agree. And I know you're proud, you're, you know, your better half being one of the uh, many women to uh, <laughs> compete. And you know what, Kelsey, because you're here, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to make an announcement that's been kind of on the back of my uh, back of my head for a while now. But this Sunday at Backlash, we're going to end this uh, top of the pile of the women's division uh, back and forth. We are going to have a triple threat match, falls count anywhere match, because, hey, you know what? They've been wanting to fight anywhere between Mrs. Wanger, Wendy, and, of course, the newcomer, Tran. We will determine once and for all who stands at the very top of the pile in the JFW women's division. And you can see that match this Sunday at Backlash. If Trent can make it after just getting a briefcase to the face. <laughs> well, that, that that one's on her. She picked her uh, She picked her battle uh, this, this, this Thursday on Friday night, Stan Fur. <laughs> <laughs> wow, calcium. She only gets to she only gets to fight uh, the eighty percent of the age that you do, huh? <laughs> Sticking with that whole uh, uh, you know uh, women's gender bias there, not letting her fight fourteen year olds. <laughs> it's probably for the best. <laughs> she gets the more dangerous one. <laughs> You know, Calcium's got to stay, stay sharp, right? He needs he needs the fourteen year olds. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh Mrs. wow! Wanger oh my god! Dominating trend in this one. Oh my god! This is it. Oh, the this terminus. could be it. I mean, again, this oh, is uh, age Christ. age and experience. Mrs. Wanger winning easily over Trent. And Trent, you better wake the fuck up and start <laughs> practicing because you've got two days to get ready for a pay per view match. <laughs> Holy shit! That was <laughs> there was no mercy in that dojo. Holy moly! Ab absolutely not. And speaking about no mercy, Satterfield has been on an undefeated streak as of late, showing no mercy to everyone he's faced in singles competition in the JFW. And with a draft coming up next week, he's got to look like one of the top picks. After going on this singles tear, can he keep it going against the Dante Kellis? A guy we haven't seen a, a whole lot recently, but I hear he's been lifting the old weights and getting ready for his grand return. And uh, here we go, one on one action. Satterfield versus Adonta Kellis is next. Four. Never skip Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> Making his way to the ring from England, weighing in at 
there he is. He is undefeated in, I think, four straight weeks now. Looking to add a fifth to it. Another SFL uh, 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 experienced coach in Odontakelis, and it is Satterfield one-on-one, -on -one, and he's awaiting the shelled one himself, Odontakelis. Mm, Odontakelis played in SFL. Do you know if he's won it or not? Uh... Uh, I, I know for a fact he has not won it, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to think about. There's been there's been eight seasons of the SFL, and, and over a third of them were won by Skirmetso. Two of them were won by Gdanik. So that really doesn't leave much room for anyone else, certainly not a Dante Kelly. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Odon seems the most reasonable of the completely ridiculous furries for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the claws, the claws and feet have always uh, thrown me off a little bit. For some reason, I don't even consider the shell a problem. <laughs> but he's still got that swagger. You know, he started in the JFW on one of the hardest, uh, hardest hottest streaks imaginable uh hasn't really done a lot since we've got into live you know live weekly broadcasting but he is you know he is a mainstay and he definitely deserves a bit of respect for what he has done in this industry but he's got the big man and the little feet the educated little feet of satterfield oh yeah and here we go oh and <laughs> speaking of right into the gut and in for the exploder suplex satterfield all over a don early on in this one yeah this is actually a clash of the feet isn't it the gigantic feet of Ordon versus <laughs> the tiny feet of Santa oh sure is and here well oh, yeah here we go showing off some strength there Satterfield having to roll out of the ring to collect himself but he baited him in and look out shin breaker oh, and he drops him on that concrete <laughs> I mean, Odon's not going to take it off, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's turtle. I mean, this is his biggest protection. We're going right back in. Yeah, Satterfield already thinking about a count out, but it's probably a little too early for that. Oh, my goodness. Look at the bridge, the pointed tiny toes on that <laughs> suplex there. Beautiful stuff. Perfect form. Incredible. Hello, Night Demon. Hey, Night Demon. Why throw him back in? <laughs> oh, belly to belly slam. And that took a lot out of Satterfield as he gets stomped in the thigh. Boy, howdy. But Satterfield countering right back. Big back body drop. And into one from Adonta Kellis. These two very evenly uh, evenly matched right now. Yeah. <laughs> Huge move. Now, very smartly, Adontakel is trying to wear down the big man, try and get some air out of him, weaken him, try and s slow him down a little bit, and uh, bring him, you know, bring him down to the bat and not let him back up. That's how you win when you're outmatched uh, in terms of size and reach. Mm. And that's how you counter if you're Satterfield. You, ch you you break the chin, you get up on your feet, and you instantly get whipped into the corner like an idiot. <laughs> but then a glorious float over DDT. Oh, Ooh. absolutely. Satterfield is in prime form right now. Very hopeful pin coming here, though. I think he needs a little bit more. Yeah, not even a one count. Yep. He'll have angered all on there, not being efficient, you know, that grit and sort of <laughs> yeah. True. Oh, but the brain buster. <laughs> oh, he telegraphed that, though. Gets his legs swept out from him. And Adon on top now. What's Adon thinking here? He's just going to punch him in the head. Oh, and here we go. Bouncing his head off that turnbuckle. The crowd's counting it up. Satterfield right back to his feet, though, and right on top. Look at this, another exploder suplex. <laughs> hey, I don't know why he's thinking he's going to get these easy pins. 
Yeah. Oh, kicks the rope in frustration there. No other reason for it. <laughs> and gets thrown over the top. Rough landing for Satterfield. And that took a lot out of him. You can see Adonta Kellis right on top of him to take advantage. Yeah, and maybe, maybe Sat is just like counting on ring rust from Odon. It's been a long time since we've seen him in the ring, isn't it? It sure has, yeah. But I'm sure if he hits an Odonta bomb, it's still going to be bad times for Sata. Can he get him up for an Odonta bomb, though? No, that's a big man right there. I know I know, Azathoth or Odont, whatever, lifts. No. Oh, but the Arclay, oh, out of nowhere, that could have done it. But he's not going for the pin now. He's trying to crack the shell by dropping his knee onto it. <laughs> Doesn't seem the smartest thing ever. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at the strength. Well, that answers the question there. <laughs> yeah, talk about, uh, talking about lifting gains. He's had a few there. And big spine buster into the pin. Oh my god, nearly got him with a spine buster. Out. Yeah, I kind of thought that might have been it. Satterfield mm -hmm. in trouble here. This might be the most trouble we've seen Satterfield in oh. thus far, but he winds up, gets the clothesline, and has a chance to turn this around. Oh, See, thinking uh, snack mask. It's the knee. So he's gonna get that. Yeah, the running knee. He's going to try and decapitate oh. him. Oh my goodness, and he connects. Will he go for the pin? He does. No. Oh. Two count kick out. Now both men really flagging here. Who can get the final three count? <laughs> oh my goodness. Points those tiny toes right into a daunt. Brings him up and surely now we've got to be close to a snack mask. <laughs> I think we're close to an Adonta bomb as well though. Which, who, which yeah, is going to sure hit first? Are. We sure are. Whoever hits that, their finisher is going to win this one. Oh, Satterfield getting a little winded, looking around for a uh, for a uh, hoppy, uh, delighted, delighting treat. <laughs> Does not find one. Goes for the pin instead. Oh, nice counter there. Elbow to the head. Oh, oh here there we go. it is. The Adonta bomb. This could be it. The run might be over for Satterfield. Oh. Down he goes, and surely a pin's following here. Surely a pin. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's got to be it. No, he kicked out. Now he kicked out at two and a half. Satterfield's staying alive. But if he wants to keep his undefeated streak going, he's got to get something in. Doesn't look like he's going to. Oh, maybe. Ooh. Quick kick there. And he bends him over his knee. <laughs> and here we go. He's just going to pin him. <laughs> well, it gets a two no, count. two count kick out again. And then has a sit down. Have a good, little good sit choice. Yeah, having a little sit down. <laughs> oh. Spikes his elbow right into the top of his head. Maybe thinking about another one of those running knees. Yep. Sure is. Watch your head. Oh, oh my God. Happen. He kicked his head damn near off. Surely that's it. Oh, my God. Stomping on him with those tiny feet. Yep. And here comes a pinning attempt. He's got him. And he's done it. Satterfield 5-0 and oh going in to the draft. And you've got to believe that's a guy that could be contending for either of the prime titles on on claw or stand firm who is gonna who is gonna get that pick wild stuff absolutely glorious absolutely indeed tony yeah that's the thing isn't it they're like tiny steel hammers <laughs> What a win. What a run by Satterfield. I thought I thought for sure a Daunt had it. It's really hard to win five matches in a row in the JFW. Almost impossible, I'd say. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's not predetermined, folks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not like boxing. <laughs> Anything can happen in the JFW. Unbelievable. That was the turning point right there. He flipped him over his knee, and that got all of his momentum back. And Satterfield able to uh, 
turn it around and get the win in this match. Yep. Here is your winner, <laughs> Maybe so. But then you say that, but then you know J5, uh, J5 and Skuro won won the opening match against North and South, so who knows? Maybe maybe Satter and uh, J5 just didn't gel. said fuck off J5 along the goal. We all should have done to be fair. <laughs> oh dear. Well now, check this out guys. Yeah, interesting match here. We're calling it a tune-up match, but as we as we saw earlier, you know, you could have called you could have easily called the the North and South match a tune-up match. That didn't work out so well for them. Frost Lord's got a huge world title match on Sunday at Backlash, but he's got to go up against Jack Bull, member of uh, uh, Quad Skulls, uh, in this one-on-one -on -one match. And uh, we are going to announce the stipulation that Tony Plays Poorly has picked for his match this Sunday at Backlash. Once this match gets underway, folks, should be a wild one. I promise you that. And uh, let's get to ringside now for Frostlord versus Jackal. Glorious. Yeah, here's a guy being put into a spot that surely could use a uh, a big uh, kind of career-defining win. Hasn't really done a lot other than Ben Rick Reckless's lackey uh, in the JFW, wow. <laughs> but he sure is carrying himself. Hey, listen, I saw what he did to guys like Skurametsu during his title run. I had no no love lost here being Jack Bull. But Jack Bull, yeah, exactly. He knows the, the crowd booing him. He doesn't give a shit. Jack Bull's here to face what could be the face of Friday stand firm should he get the win on Sunday and uh, a win for Jack Bull would catapult him uh, up the up the, the draft boards for both Claw and Stan Firm, you gotta believe yep Jack Bull ain't no D yeah, surely not D <laughs> D <laughs> <laughs> Dave is, Dave, Dave is a JFW icon. I wonder how high he'll go in the draw. <laughs> you know, Jack Bull, you know, he, t he tells people to do their tasks. Hasn't embraced that kind of role in the JFW yet. He's just stuck with his mining outfit from that game that they play in Quad Skulls. <laughs> oh, is that what that's from? I, I, I've always never wondered about that. <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> Yeah, that would be But idea. here he is. Hey, here's my easy pick to win this one. It's Frost Lord. He's got to get a big win here. He knows he's got Tony plays poorly. And, folks, it's time to announce the stipulation of the world title match. That match is going to be opening the show, I believe, at Backlash. And, folks, gear up. It's going to be a cage match. Four oh, glorious. We all know how good cage matches can be in the JFW. They certainly never let you down. <laughs> cage match between Tony Plays Poorly and Frost Lord Army, former best friends, former Army mates, even though they're from different countries. But now the title on the line, the face of Friday Stand Firm on the line. Who is going to guarantee their spot? We'll find out on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a cage, not a fence, Tony. <laughs> if it was a fence, it would be a fence match, but it's a cage match. So it's, Come it's on, a Tony. cage. Come on. Get, Come on. Get your life in order. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Instant He's looking to choke him out right off the bat. Looking to end this match before it even gets started. Oh, my God. Rick Reckless ain't around to save you now, buddy. 
Oh no, he does not tap. Somehow hangs on. Oh my god. <laughs> Postlord, look at it. Just end it right here and right oh now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Here comes the pedigree. <laughs> Tony, I hope you're watching closely. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and Frostlord, absolutely dominant. And you know what, folks? <laughs> Is anyone really surprised? Frostlord is absolutely ready for his title match this wow. Sunday at Backlash. He's not paid by the hour. Wow. Well, he's going to have to be in that kind of form to take on Tony Flair's poorly, isn't he? Yeah. Let's be honest. I, you know what, though? I'm going to add a stipulation of my own to that cage match. The only way to win that one is to get up and over and out of the ring. None of this tag out in the cage match. None of this pinfall in the cage match. We're going to do it the way a cage match was supposed to be done. I don't know who ruined the idea of a cage match, but no more of that. The only way to win the title on Sunday is to climb up and over and out of the cage. Fantastic. I hate that as well. It's <laughs> so, that's so brilliant. stupid. Yep, brilliant stuff. Right, and now it's time for the main event. Boy, howdy boy howdy indeed folks this is a new experiment by me your gm of friday stand firm happening tonight on thursday we have a tag team trios match here it's gonna be two status you know two stand firm exclusive tag teams or well maybe not for much longer but uh they've each added a third and we're gonna do a trios match you know we can't have a tag title Maybe I'll think about adding a trios title. Who knows what I'll do? The future will know after next week's draft, and will all six men of these, uh, all six men in this match be on our roster next week? We'll have oh, to find out. Then. It's Flicky Flack Calcium and the newly added Artemis Black. They all got some rage issues going up <laughs> against Try and uh, and, and Gdanik and uh, Dio. Apparently, uh, also loves himself some tentacle porn. Yeah, I'm, 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 nothing would surprise me about Dio eats you. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Welsh rage milk. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, wow. Wow. This is going to be cool. Do love the old trio matches. Fucking <laughs> my penguin milk. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe like skimmed penguin milk. <laughs> Flicky's like this. <laughs> Flicky's like a skimmed wrestler, isn't he? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Licks heel from a ball, yeah. Here we go, the most furious tag team has gotten even worse. <laughs> really game! Here they are, it's, uh, yeah, Welsh Rage Mill. <laughs> oh god, Flicky, I forgot he was blind! Oh god, he doesn't have his cane, he's gonna walk down those stairs. <laughs> Good job he's following the other two. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully there's no uh, posts on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Amazing. I thought he hurt himself going over the barricade for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, trios action tonight in your main event this Friday night, uh, uh, Thursday night edition of Friday, stand firm. Yeah. I guarantee tomorrow I'm going to think it's Saturday. All day, I'm just going to assume it's Saturday. I've already been thinking tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're screwed. If we get backlash off in time, uh, I'll be shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I shudder to think how these three are entering now. There we go. The cat loving, the cat girl loving weebs. <laughs> they sure look unified as a tag team, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh my god, no. 
Trio's action in your main event. <laughs> the bell is rung, and it's on the final match of the regular JFW that we have known and loved for two years now before we head into Backlash and then on to next week, a two-part draft to set unique rosters for Monday Night Claw and Friday Stand Firm so both shows can really get things going. Glorious. Oh, wow. Straight in. Straight in, Flicky. Yeah, Flicky Flicky trying to wear down that leg. He knows uh, He knows. Try uses it so much for that axe kick to win matches. Mm -hmm. And here he comes. Good day, Nick. The real American. Still sporting those cat ears to keep Try interested in uh, wrestling at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dio unfortunately refused. He just he just had to be plied with Huel to take part. Yeah. Well, Dio's got a lot of free time now. I heard he's uh, retired from Blood Bowl for at least a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Very sad if that's if he stays out. I think a loss to the Blood Bowl community. I think that'll last uh, not very long. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He seemed pretty oh, bummed out. out when I talked to him. Ah, uh, fair enough. Mm. Well, hey, if he could build himself a, a JFW career uh, without Blood Bowl distracting <laughs> him, uh, more's the better. Yeah. Oh. Watch his anger out of with a big head. It doesn't take a lot to anger out of <laughs> <laughs> Trio's match is a little bit different than tag matches. A lot harder to isolate uh, your pin and uh, get a three count. You can get all sorts of interruptions, but we'll see. We'll see how these guys have strategized to get through this match. It's a completely different ball game, and that's what we want to see. All sorts of excitement. <laughs> Hello, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist. Not even that. Hello, hello. Oh, look out. Again, the tag team uh, partners getting it done against Artemis right now. Didn't even get to wrestle. <laughs> oh, Jerry, the legend. <laughs> oh, you fucking bell end. Oh. Big clothesline wipes out Art. Dropping the elbow right to the heart. The heart of Art. I'm not sure he's got one. <laughs> Fucking blackened heart. <laughs> Salt filled. <laughs> oh, look out, Alabama Slammer. Ooh. And that might have knocked him out. Here we go, though. Flicky in to break that up easily. <laughs> Yep. Nick uh, not able to uh, do much. Looked like he was trying to climb a mountain there. <laughs> oh, but Try, <laughs> Try going to do that axe kick. Wow. And there goes Art again. Didn't even get to play wrestling. <laughs> but Flicky gets the breakup. Now Nick going to punish him for it. Drops him right onto Art's knee. Devastating. Oh. And here comes Artemis Black, able to counter, needs to tag in Calcium. You know, it's not a championship match, so Calcium probably a pretty good shout. What the <laughs> fuck happened there? I've got no idea. <laughs> count out victories are definitely one way to win a trio's match effectively. Yeah. Oof. 
Oh, Flicky's in. Is he going to interfere? No. He's trying to get back to his corner. Oof. Well, he might interfere. Here we go. His now knees Flicky, might yeah, be in Flicky. a devastating position here. Yeah, yeah Flicky now in uh, <laughs> in position. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember why we stopped doing trios match. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh but Artemis doing... in and able to get the tag in and oh what a no a counter? <laughs> How did he count? What the fuck was that, Calcium? That looked like Calcium was playing Wood Elves in the SFL finals. <laughs> Jesus Christ ran right into the ground with him. <laughs> oh. Try and nick both SFL winners. Yeah, try just a one time winner though. Does that really count? Like, I mean, fuck's sake, Tom Schniz is a one-time winner. <laughs> well, it counts when you're calcium, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Try is a zero-time loser, so there is that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, wow. Submission from oh, Gadini. Indeed. Well, how did Look at that. Yeah, if this was overtime in the SFL Finals, he'd be tapping. <laughs> but no, this is JFW Wrestling. Even Calcium's a little bit better than that. Oh, man. <laughs> no mercy in the announcer's dojo. <laughs> oh, look out. Beautiful sit-down powerbomb into the pin. Nick kicking out. <sighs> Oof. And here we go. Calcium fired up now. Can he get something going? Can he get something going? Uh, can he get something hey, going? Get something going. <laughs> can well, he get something he... going? <laughs> calcium, calcium not used to doing uh, doing this good in a big spot. Oh, there it is. Hits the... the, the Calchasa or whatever we call it. Milchasa. Mm. Milchasa. Uh, it was the crane kick, wasn't it? The, the legal oh, crane, the crane kick. kick. Oh, yes, yeah, the crane kick, of course. Even though, you know, yeah, it's Daniel Son like, does that. Yeah, I know, I know, but hey, hey, look, we Whoa! just wanted to mention it. <laughs> the big Uranagi, yeah! and now, look out, maybe a koala clutch coming. Again, submission moves, some of the best ways to win a trios match. And Nick has just locked one in on noted loser Calcium Cash. Oh my god. <laughs> He's tapped. He's and tapped. There you go. And that is why Calcium taps out. And the Cat Girl Loving Weaves are going to win this first and huge main event trios match. What a win. Such a good win. They didn't even get a uh, victory dance. Well, of course, there's a limit to the effort that the producers will make on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Adding victories is definitely not one of them. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. Aren't they happy? Looks like. Oh. <laughs> uh... Looks like Dio's nose is falling off. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. There they are, the cat girl loving weebs, victorious in the main event, the final main event of the old era. Next week launches a whole new type of JFW wrestling. Cannot wait to be a part of it. But before that, we have Backlash this Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC. Be there, every title on the line, and so much more. It is going to be an epic pay-per-view to close out this generation of the JFW. Thank you all for joining us on this lovely Thursday night, Friday night. Stand firm. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I will see you very soon. What an amazing outro. Thank you so much, Gorilla Mezzo. And I tell you what, what I can also exclusively reveal now is that the... the
Backlash will be opened by Hellboy performing live to the JFW audience with a new amazing song that he's made. So what that's going to be unbelievable, isn't it? Thanks for watching, everyone. Absolutely. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.